As Phase 3 of Marvel Cinematic Universe has said goodbye to its audience, fans are ready to welcome Phase 4. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for God's sake. It is said that Phase 4 of Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to revolutionize the way it is being viewed till now. Fans are anxiously waiting for Marvel's Phase 4 as it is going to feature some nerve-wracking movies and TV shows. <laughs> But with an entirely new phase, will Marvel be able to beat DC? DC has all what it needs to actually get ahead of Marvel in terms of both branding and profits with the upcoming films. As Marvel's introducing completely new characters, plots, and storylines, it is easy for the DCEU to take advantage of its already established cinematic universe with the same characters and storyline that are loved and awaited by many. While fans will now have to wait longer for films like Black Widow, Wonder Woman 1984, The Batman, and Thor Love and Thunder, this chaos has also presented a rare opportunity for DC. So today, we will see why it is possible that DCEU can become better than Marvel in the future. Trusted Characters vs. Newcomers for the first time since 2008, Marvel has the rare vulnerability of having to sell a whole slate of new character films to the public. Shang-Chi, The Eternals, a female version of Thor, Black Widow out on her own. These are all potential big new winners for Marvel, but they are not proven yet. DC, meanwhile, has a slate of films coming in the next two years that are already poised to be hits. A Wonder Woman sequel, a new Batman movie, and a new version of Suicide Squad from one of Marvel's most beloved directors, James Gunn, a brand within himself. As far as big event films worth seeing in theaters, and even more serious consideration nowadays, DC is stacked really nicely for the next year or so. Avengers is ended. Following the events of Avengers Endgame, it's not totally clear just what shape the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe will take. While there's a good indication the characters Disney acquired from 21st Century Fox will soon arrive, there's not much solid information on just when or how that might happen. While the latest DCEU film Cinematic Universe is still alive and well following the successes of Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Currently, Wonder Woman 1984 is the next DCEU movie, and after several delays, the film is slated for release. Competitive Star Power Benedict Cumberbatch, Chris Hemsworth, and Natalie Portman are Marvel veterans fans will rally to see, no doubt, and even the untested property that is Eternals is bringing out big guns like Angelina Jolie and Samal Hayek, and Thor 4 will boast former Batman Christian Bale as its villain. Marvel has a pretty stacked deck, as usual. However, DC isn't slouching either. Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa are now international stars thanks to their DC films. Robert Patterson is a major draw for The Batman, and The Suicide Squad has names like Margot Robbie, Idris Elba, Michael Rooker, and Taika Waititi attached. More Powerful Cinematic Experience Making a superhero movie, at least in the big budget sense, requires compromise, sharing a long-term vision, and trying to fulfill the expectations of many different types of fans. It's why so many of the Marvel movies have a really healthy mix of humor, action, and mild violence, and also push the larger story forward to be carried by the next film. The movies are supposed to work for 12-year-olds and their parents sitting next to them in the theater. With Joker, Todd Phillips didn't have to worry about that. He just made the movie he wanted to make. And now other filmmakers also want to work in the same niche. Better Gallery of Villains Over the years, DC has done a phenomenal job of getting their villains into mainstream culture. From the television shows to the cartoons and movies, there isn't a company alive that can compete with how well their villains are known. The DCEU here is probably better than the MCU simply because of this fact. Their problem is that they haven't done enough to tap into their own long history. If they find that magic touch and market their villains properly, their cinematic experience will be elevated completely. Bigger Franchise Returns Now that Avengers is ended, Doctor Strange 2 and Thor 4 are going to be significant pieces of the new MCU Phase 4 saga, no doubt, and a third Ant-Man should also be on the way. And Black Widow already looks like a super cool action prequel that could also open some new doors. However, the Wonder Woman and Aquaman sequels, plus bold new Batman and Suicide Squad reboots are easily the bigger draw when it comes to new chapters of established franchises. 
The exception is, of course, Marvel's Black Panther 2, which is coming off the global phenomenon success of the first film. DCEU has diversified its cinema. Thanks to Joker's box office dominance and awards season wins, Warner Bros. now sees the benefit of DC movies that come in a wide variety of flavors. The door is now open for DC's massive library to be adapted to film in a variety of ways that keeps the brand name fresh and production costs low with more indie-style features like Joker. Marvel's big blockbuster formula is locked in, but the franchise now has to prove the formula can grow with a growing number of second or third or fourth tier characters, while DC can come at audiences from a widening variety of ways that never even feel like a comic book movie. Huge Comebacks Unless Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans shock the world and suit up again for Marvel Phase 4 film, DC has a clear potential advantage here. If Warner Bros. finally officially puts Hen Cavall back in the Superman suit, it's game over as far as headlines. Same if, by some miracle, Ben Affleck would suit up again as Batman, if only to help Flash sort out some messy timeline stuff left over from Zack Snyder's day. We're talking about worldwide hype potential. We don't yet know how Matt Reeves' The Batman will connect, or not, to any other DC movie properties. As always, the Batman franchise is an entire cash cow in and of itself, and so far, nothing in Marvel Phase 4 Spider-Man can only hope to match that potential. This is our list of why the DCEU is going to be much better than Marvel Cinematic Universe in the future. Tell us which out of these two cinematic universes your favorite is. Comment down below to tell us which topics you want us to cover on this channel. We love to create these kinds of videos for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. For more amazing content, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. For more quick updates, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications every time we post a new video.